Yo, yo. What's good with everybody, man? Hopping on here a little bit earlier than usual. See what's up with everybody. I think I need to turn the light on in here, man. Yo, yo, what's goody? Where's my people at, man? How's everybody doing, man? I'm just in my, you know what I'm saying? Just, just came from the grocery store, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hyphy trivia tonight on my IG live. What the hell is hyphy trivia? <laughs> Track uh the track drops at midnight Eastern time, so that's like 9 p.m. on the West Coast. Video drops at 11 a.m. So make sure if you guys haven't already subscribed to my um YouTube channel, uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, so you can you know see the video. Yeah, man, I just got back from the grocery store. Had to go. You know what I've been fiending for? This is the problem with being quarantined right now. I was fiending for some chocolate chip cookies. So I went and bought some of them, uh, you know, like the little Pillsbury. <laughs> that come in the tube. I was, yo, I was fiending. I was, dude, I literally been laying up every night for the last week at like 2 a.m. Like, damn, I wish I had some cookies. And um, so I went to the store. I walked by it. I was like, mm, chocolate chip cookies. So, um. Usually I don't even really like chocolate chip cookies. I usually like like uh, oatmeal raisin. You know what? I don't drink milk, so I don't like milk. I drink tea with cookies, <laughs> or I drink I just drink water with cookies. It's on my on uh, it's an online game show. What what time is the IG live? I might have to drop into that. I mean, I part. I helps. I'm part of the beginning of the hyphy movement, so I helped start that. <laughs> Yo, Locke, I've got bars for you. I don't want none of your bars, Dev Lord. I don't want none of your bars. <laughs> Nine p.m. All right, I'm gonna try to come on. I'm gonna try to come on. I got a new song with Exhibit and Raz Cabs. Uh, Raz Cabs dropping tonight. Um, so. I'm a, I can come on there and talk about that a little bit. So I'll come I'll come in and do that uh that uh hyphy trivia. Um Yes, I do have I do have a new track with Webby. I do have a new track with Webby and um I'm not sure when I'm gonna release it, but it's fire. It's fire. I feel like it's the, I feel like it's my favorite song that me and Webby've done together. It's fire. Um, somebody said the new Golden State. Um, I mean, I ain't gonna say we the Golden State, but we from the Golden State. You know what I'm saying? Um, but how's everybody doing today, man? Um, love to Morocco. What up? What up? I'm trying to send you some beats, man. People send me beats all the time. You just you ain't looking hard enough, man. You know, people send me beats. I listen to them. I don't like them. Or sometimes I just, you know, people send me stuff and say I'm not vibing with it, but my email is not hard to find. Matter of fact, it's right on my IG profile. How are you going to rap over that beat that Apathy told you about? I'm waiting for App to send me, man. He already sent me like some other beats that's fire, so I got to finish those up. Am I ever going to make it out to Canada? I come to Canada every year. So hopefully I'll come again, you know, when things, uh, I can't, I did a tour in Canada, 2016, 17 and 18. So hopefully I'll be back soon. Am I Persian? Yes, I'm half Persian, half Persian, half African American. Uh, do I use a pressure cooker? Uh, no. Do you still look at San Sanity Challenges? Nope. That was hella years ago. That was two albums ago. <laughs> um, 
Tish, how you been? Seeing you in Mobile, Alabama was amazing to meet you. Yeah, Mobile is dope, man. Mobile is a fun. Uh, I'm into Mobile, I think, a couple times. Once or twice. Yeah. Man, one of these days I'm going to spit from you. I don't I don't know, man. Something telling me you ain't that good. <laughs> Dev bars. Because you just, usually people that's just like too overly doing it. And then I go click on it. And be like, man, this is what you told me to come listen to. You guys go to Dev. What's his name? Dev Lord. Y'all go to Dev Lord's profile. And uh, listen to his bars if y'all, you know what I mean? Tell me if they're good. Because um, I got to have some kind of filter. Dude, I had a whole thing planned out for Locklift. I had some people that wanted to sponsor me, um, some car, you know, for, for to do it, and um, everything stopped. So hopefully, once this uh, all this shit gets over with, we can go back to doing. Do you read the dictionary? Uh, no, I don't like sit at home. Who the fuck just sits at home and read the dictionary? Um, I just I do read. Um, I do you know what I mean? Um, observe things and pick up new words and understanding but i don't just like sit and just read the dick like i don't even if you just sat and read the dictionary how could you even retain all those words like how could you memorize the definite you just you have to read things and then you look up a word like i read things and then i look up words and like oh i don't know what this word is but i don't know i don't even think my vocabulary is all i don't know i guess maybe to some people but i feel like i could work on my vocabulary uh, a lot um, and I definitely don't read as much as I used to because now, you you know, you can just watch everything or listen to audio books. So. Uh, thank you, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I, don't, I think my vocabulary could uh, use some work. Would I ever battle again? People every time ask me this. Um, never say never, but it's not something I'm uh, focused on right now. Like I, I haven't even. Um, and then Jay Z, because I mean they they were all in the nineties, and you know, when is the next challenge? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um. So okay, so you guys, do, do any of you guys want to um hop on live, ask some questions, talk about anything? We're not doing any rapping. If you start rapping, I might just cut you off. So, um, you know, let some folks go live here. Come to London. I want to come back to London. I come. I, yo, yo, what, what, yo, what's going on, my dude? Chilling, bro. How you been? I'm good, man. You know, just maintaining, trying to stay busy during this whole lockdown, you know? Hell yeah, man. Yes, sir. What's Yo, up, you want to hear a rap, bro? I've been writing for 13 days. No, nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm what playing. you say? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, if I let do people be over here rap, man, I'll be here all night, man. I can't. I'll be nah, I know I hear that. I have mental overload. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Yo, bro, it's crazy because... I remember seeing your videos, like some of my favorite songs that you wrote, mm -hmm. and like mad of them didn't really have that many views, right? Uh -huh. But now you're actually getting up there, you know? Well, we working, man. You know, things take time to progress. So, you know, I I, I, don't, I do this because I love it. I do it because it's my passion. Um, so, 
sometimes, you know, people are aware of it. Sometimes they're not. But I feel like if things are good over time, it'll start, you know, it'll start. Uh, I just feel like real shit, sometimes it just takes time, you know? Hell yeah. I hear that. Yeah, man. That's what's up. But I, where you calling from? From Boston. Boston. That's what's up, man. I love Boston. How you guys doing out there, man? Y'all being safe? Yeah, it's good, man. The cases keep going up, you know? It's just crazy. Well, Cases is gonna go up, man. It's a virus, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing about it. Yeah, you, gotta, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you can't you just gotta stay in the house. Um, you know, the majority of people who get it are not it's not gonna be serious, but you don't wanna take any chances, so you wanna just stay in the house, keep yourself safe. Um, uh, but they're gonna be cases because they're testing more. So there's gonna be more cases, but you know, just because you get it don't mean you're gonna die. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, nah, no. It's mostly like the old people, you know, like because their immune systems ain't as good, so that's when it really becomes like fatal type shit. But yeah, for the young, I mean, it could be it could be fatal to anybody, but the the uh the data shows that most of the people um that are passing away from it are either elderly people or people with pre existing conditions. But we still don't want to take mm -hmm. no chances. We want to stay in the yeah, house. Yeah, of course, of course. And we don't want to. But um, I think we're gonna be good, man. You know, give a little bit of time. We'll be back. We'll be back running in no time. Yeah, now they're talking about fucking May fourth. That's when the lockdown shit is going on. So yeah, I think. I mean, I think it's going at least me personally. I don't think things is gonna be close to being back kind of normal until like June. You know? Yeah, I, mean? I was thinking like even further than that. I mean, with the way shit's going right now, yeah. it's crazy, man. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a little while, but it'll be okay. We'll start easing back in and doing stuff normal. The economy got to get got back going, so. It'd be all right. Oh, yeah. yeah, I appreciate you calling in, my dude. Yeah, bro. All right, my Be man. safe, man. Yo, I was listening to that song, too. You did with Crooked Eye. You remember that shit? Do you even remember your verse on that shit? Uh, I did a couple songs with Crooked Eye back in the day. So which one are you talking about? I don't Fucking know. We did a few. Roll Call 2, I think. Okay, yeah. Yep. I, no, I don't remember that verse, but I remember, yeah, we did a few songs. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, you straight killed that shit, bro. It was like with Mike Stroh and all of them. Yeah, yeah, that was that was shit. That was back in 2014 or something. Yeah, yeah, it was back then. But that's what I'm saying. Like some of the the verses you put out, that's like crazy. Like people can't compete with that shit, and th them shits don't really have that many views. You know, like you'll be bumping that shit, and people will be like, "Yo, what you bumping right now?" Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, just it's all good, man. It's right, all good. bro. Yo, Try to get on your live like another time or some shit, bro. Be safe out here, man. Be safe, my dude. Ah, right, yo. Shout out to Boston, man. Uh, I'm gonna say some other people want to jump on here. You're. Yo, yo, What's my up, dude. Bro? What's good, man? What's going on? Hold on, let me turn off this light, man. Back up in here. Light. It's crazy. How you been, man? Wait for the I'm waiting for the new uh song, man. Yeah, man. It'll uh it'll be uh I think it's midnight East Coast time, 9 p.m. West Coast. Video drops in the morning. You know what oh, I mean? Are you gonna make me wait? I'm still essential out in these streets. I'm I'm gonna be at work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, it's, it, uh, no, I'm excited it's about though, it, man. man. I'm excited. You staying safe? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I don't, uh, I don't do too much regardless, man. You know, I ain't, ain't, yeah. ain't too much change for me, man. I'm just usually at the house, writing, recording. Got the, you know, what I mean, got my mic right here, and uh, you know, I just stay working, man. Yeah, man. You got one of my, you got my big homie on the track, man. I can't wait to hear it. Raz, that's my guy. Yeah, um, Raz Kazis, man. It's so crazy how that song came about, too, is because I had the beat, and um, and I hit X. I was like, yo, man, I, I got this beat. I think you would be dope on. And um, and he, he, I sent it to him. He was like, oh, this is fire. He said, let's go. I was like, okay, let me, let, let me lay my verse um, just so you can have it as a reference. Um, I laid my verse. I just, like, recorded it. I think it's, like, over the phone or something. Sent it to him. Okay. And then he uh then he called me back. He was like, check this out. I was like, that shit is hard. He's like, well, hold up, I got somebody else. And then he like was FaceTiming me at Raz guys in the studio. I was like, oh <laughs> shit. This oh, that's is crazy. Dope. And then that's um dope. 
Yeah, and they just sent it back to me, and it was a, uh, it was fire, man. Yo, so I wanted to ask you because this is something I meant to ask you when we did the did the interview, mm -hmm. and it was something, one instrumental, like that that it could be anybody's that you wish was yours that you could have rapped on. It's like it's one of your songs. Uh, I mean, of all time. Yeah, all time. I'm not making it easy. So based, oh, I, okay. I mean, I'll I'm just trying to think of some of my favorite beats of all time. Uh, Something that that would have that would have been like perfect for you, like like when you heard it, like yeah. I, I mean, when you talk this. about so many eras of rap, so many you talk about over like a 15, 20 year period. So it's hard for me to you know hey, there's recent shit, there's old shit. All right, let me break it down to like the nineties, the okay, two thousand and two thousand tens. So okay, the nineties, so the nineties, it would probably be New York State of Mind. Okay. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm that, saying? That's, that's one of the ones. Rappers a monkey flipping, like that beat, like, oh, like still to this day, like when I'm just, when I just yeah. want to write, like sometimes when I'm just like get tired of like writing songs, I just want to just like write some, just, just some ill shit. Just, you know what I mean? And I, and that's usually primo. You know what I mean? It's usually something yeah. from, from. Shout out the prime. Yeah. So I usually go to like New York State of Mind or some shit like that. If I say Shook Ones, that's a great one too. Shook Ones, that's another one, you know, Havoc. But that New York State of Mind for me, that's that that's yeah. the first verse. That's the first beat that I song that I freestyled over ever in my life. Yeah. That's the first time I just was like, just you know what I mean? Just you know what I mean, just making up raps. And to this day, it's crazy how never put me in the box of the shitty's tapes. You know what I'm saying? Like to this day. Um, and then in the two early two thousands, uh, let me see, the two thousands, it would have to be you talking about that's Kanye, that's T.I., that's a lot of, lot of Manny Fresh, a lot of South shit. All right, was, I'm going to say, if it's it 2000s, crazy. I'm going to say something from the Chronic 2001. Oh, oh yeah, that's the cheat code. <laughs> Still DRE. Because I literally, when I, when I, I want to say around 2003, 2004, or, or maybe even later, maybe like 2005, when I was trying to like, just, I didn't, you know, I didn't really have no beats. Well, I just I was all I wanted to rap. So if y'all I don't know some of y'all may not remember Dr. Dre released a crime Live at the barbecue. He he, re he released the instrumental yeah, the album. Instrumental album. The chronic yeah, I got the, I got and the, I, just, um, the I, I wrote a whole album to that to that chronic uh -huh. instrumental. Are we ever gonna hear that? I mean I never recorded it. I don't even remember it. I I, I oh, just wow. I, I, I probably used verses from it on other stuff. Got you. I, you know what I'm saying? Some of it probably but I, I wrote a whole pro I wrote like a, like two verses. I mean, I just I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna write two verses to every instrumental on there. So I don't know. Maybe forgot about Dre or maybe, um, maybe I guess maybe I can, I can or, or the watcher. That. Either either the oh. watcher or forgot about Dre. Those were my two favorites. Like on that. Um, I could uh, definitely hear you on forgot about Dre with the with the uh, double time flow. Yeah. Yeah, man. That was the first. A matter of fact, that may be the first time I ever even rapped double time. Was on that beat. That was the first time I was like, you know what? Let me try this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and then recently, hmm, that's tough, man. What what is a beat? I mean, this ain't well. Uh, okay, let me a sideboard another beat. Rock cocaine flow. Oh, okay. MF, what you know about that? MF Doom, <laughs> De La Soul, produced yeah. by Jake One. From, by, the, from the grind from the grind date. Woo! Jake One, dude. That's to me yeah. that, that might be the Jake One. That might be the hardest beat ever. <laughs> dude, that beat, if you see them perform that live, like when I heard oh, that. Oh, I, I have. I have. Bro, I was just I'm like, not sure if it was if it was really MF though, because you know he'd be he be having clones on stage. Well, I mean, I didn't see it. I wasn't in MF. I just saw Daylight Soul. You saw Daylight, yeah, yeah. But I was just like, wow. Um, so that I don't know, man. Maybe those are my three. That's that's a great one. That's 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 low key. I know, I know, I'm in the minority. That's mm -hmm. that might be my favorite Daylight Soul album. Me too. No, well, that's my favorite Daylight Soul song. Even though yeah, they got classic songs, uh, like for some reason, like 
Uh, much more, much more is 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 one of my all time favorite Daylight songs with Primo yeah, on the that. intro. Like they, that. that was one of the ways. Even though Jay Dilla produced it, you got Primo just, and that's the one they did on the Chappelle show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and just fire. them walking on the bus. I got verb skills, babies and bills, a brother who yeah. smoke krills. Yeah, man. Like shout out to Daylight, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Those, 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 those might be my and something that's super recent. I don't know. Uh, I can hear you on. Let me see. What what could I hear you on? I can hear you on Down Bad from the um from the uh J Cole. And oh, J Cole. Yeah, uh, the Revenge down, of the Dreams. Down Bad. Yeah, I can hear, I can hear you rapping on that joint. I don't know if that's your, if that if that's just if that's what you like, but I can hear you on that. No, joint. no, I, I fuck with that. I, I, yeah, I fuck with that. I, I like the. You know what? I like the um. Oh, the one that uh, it was. Uh, oh, uh, let the beat build. No, no, no. I'm I, I did the melody wrong. Oh, no, you talking um, about uh? I woke up out with the one with Kendrick on the hook. Uh, woke up for some money. Mm. Little no, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That beat is hard. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. super simple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, uh, J. Um, Cole, the baby. And yeah, Bob's. and um, and Luke. Yeah, uh, yeah. That that's hard. I, I really like that beat. I mean, I under would, the sun. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Eight oh four. Uh, yeah. Under the sun. C -D -O -T. Under the sun. Who you with? I woke up for some money. Yeah, that that joint, that joint goes. I couldn't Ooh. think of the name of it for nothing. And this is a dope video too. Yeah, yeah man. That's just. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could. Yeah. Yeah, man, you uh, might might have to might have to hit some lock sessions. You know I mean, yeah, yeah, man, that shit is hard. But yeah, man, yeah. those are those are some ones that I can think of off the top of the head. But yeah, you know, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, my yeah, man. Well, well, I, well, I'm patiently waiting. I'll I'll be up because I don't I don't go to sleep. Um, it's the cousin of death, and um, so I'll I'll be up and I I'm, I'm gonna hit you when I hear it. It's all See? up, my dude. Let yeah, me know, yeah, man. For sure. Stay up, man, and stay safe. And I and I chop it up with you uh when you get back home. My dude. All right, peace. Back on here. Um Lock featuring Nick Grant. Yeah, that would be fire. Yeah, you know, um my man Arson has had a song that I got on. And that shit was fire. And he said he was going to put Nick Grant on it. I don't know if he ever finished that. Um, Lily Fangs. What? I ain't heard seeing you in a minute. Where you been? Um, let's see if some other folks want to go on here. Who you with? Nothing under the sun. No, 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 under the sun. Yo, yo. What's up with it, man? What's, what's going on with it, man? Oh, no, it ain't nothing like that. It ain't nothing like that. No, it ain't like that. It ain't like that. I see you. But I, yeah. I got to get away. It's a little too loud down here. Yeah, oh, man, it sounds like you had a pool hall or something. <laughs> they down there, they down there, they down there, damn, fuck the lighter. They down there playing cards, they down there playing cards, drinking and, and all that. That don't sound like no social distancing. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, hey, it's deep, hey, we still, we still got the spacing going on. <laughs> What's going on with you, brother? Where you calling from? Um, Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, okay, that's what's up, man. I, I love Cleveland, oh, right. man. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been checking you out, uh, probably for about four or five, six years, I don't know, probably six years now. And how I got familiar, how I got familiar with you was at a poker table when what? I was discussing. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know, you know, you know how it is, like, yeah. you know, as far as trying to, trying, trying to get your music in the mainstream, yeah. you see what I'm saying? I know, I know it's an independent grind for you, you see what I'm saying? I appreciate it, man. Thank you for spreading the word, brother. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah, yeah. I definitely be speaking up on you, but it was at a poker table when I was playing some mm -hmm. by a group called Radio. Oh yeah, yeah. I know those guys. Well, I know one of them. Right, right, right. So, so then, dude told me he's like, okay, so since you get it in them, check out this dude named Locksmith. Yeah. And so that's how I got into you. 
And then, so I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been fucking with you since. Hey, look, but uh, I was, I wanted to ask you, is you familiar with, is you hip to a, um, oh, oh, and then also I wanted to say, what do I want to say? Hold on, because I, I had it lined up before I even got on. I was going to say that, um, that, um, the, um, what do I say, the integrity? Oh, the knowledge you drop, the wisdom, and maintaining the integrity that you keep. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And your music. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, um, and, and, and so I love that. You know what I'm saying? Especially during a time <laughs> it's so much superficial shit in the mainstream and I come up where it was more diversity. You see uh -huh. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Mainstream, so to try to get that, you know what I'm saying? The only way to get it is it is, is, is word of mouth damn near. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, the art, when the art is true, man, it's powerful. It'll, it'll grow the way it's supposed to. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't even worry about it. I just let it do what it do, you know? Right, right. So, so I was wondering if you were familiar with a rapper out of Texas named K Reno. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Okay, okay, because that's that's another one that I got here too. It was, I think it was you know, after you. K Reno's legendary, man. I mean, he's a, uh, if you, I mean, how do, how can you even know about underground music if you don't know about what K Reno's been doing, you know? Truly, uh, right, truly right. talented, incredible MC. Right, right, right. He, 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 he yeah, yeah, he an animal. So, mm -hmm. there it is. I think about when people be talking about best. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, you and him, two of the people I think of, you see what I'm saying? When trying to compare it to the popular rappers that's known when that conversation come up. Man, I appreciate it, man. I mean, it's because of people like yourself spreading the information is what's, uh, it's what's able to keep us going, my brother. I, I appreciate you, man. But let me let, I'm gonna let some other folks on here, man. I appreciate you, though, my brother. Right, right, right. All right, so one more thing, one more thing. Cause I don't know, I don't know what you, I don't know what you know, but I know, I know you know, you know what this Corona shit about. I already know you know that, but I was gonna, if, if you happen to not know certain details, um, uh, uh, certain details, I was just gonna put it to you, do your own research or whatever. So my understanding, my understanding from who I deem a credible source, uh -huh. which is Kay Reno, actually for real, for real, uh -huh. um. That shit is supposed to be, well, it's supposed to be have a patent. Uh huh. A, a patent number US 200 625 7852. Okay. Uh, they're a company named Pure Bright. P I R, uh, I don't know if it's a space, B R I uh, H. Uh, GT, a uh, company out of UK, uh, who is uh, backed by what's that? Name? Prince, uh, some guy named Prince Philip from over there in the UK, and okay. Bill and Bill and Melinda Gates. Okay. Who, from my understanding, is an advocate, is an advocate for or or kind of have conversations about ways that the population can be controlled. okay well look, look not not to, not to cut you off i mean you know i've heard different uh information that's out there and um you know different people have their different i I've ha i haven't seen any uh any documentation or anything like that but you know you never know what's going on i mean we all know that biological warfare is a real thing and we know that viruses and antidotes and all these kind of things are real but you know it's a lot of information out there i i, I think the best thing is for I just try to encourage people to be safe, watch your back. You never know what's going on and educate yourself. But I'm going to let some other folks get on here, my brother. I appreciate right, you. Right. I did. I did. I just wanted to put that out about the U.S. friend. All right, man. Yes. Peace. Shout out to that brother Cleveland, uh, Ohio up in here, man. Uh, you know. Um, uh, yeah, man. Let's be... Uh, What the fuck is this? Uh, what the fuck is these filters and shit that's on here, man? Get this shit out of here. Uh, I'm trying to. Uh... Shit. 
trying to see if I can let some um, folks get on here. So much shit is popping up on the phone. I'm just like, damn, how can I navigate through all this? Yo. Hey. How you been? I'm okay. How you doing? Good, man. What's been up? What you been up to? <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> Breathing. Still creating your art? Yeah, lots of lots of art. I've been a hospice nurse for the past few years, kinda like Oh wow. So half Head in the mixtape still always. I'm about to put out uh, three joints, and they're all part one, part two, part three of the migraine mixtapes because I've been, like, in the pain classroom mm. for uh, about, like, eight years. I've been mm. migraining. Mm. So not to be I'm, – I'm, I'm positive about it. They've been my teacher. Yeah, it's good. But, it's good. But yeah, releasing releasing content, my theory is, will alleviate some pressure. Of course, the it's there. It's, it's therapeutic, you know. Can can or be constipating or congestive. <laughs> so it's where you at? Where are you at these days? Where, 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 I'm in I Colorado. Colorado, that's right. That's right. How how are yeah. things out there? Ah, uh, beautiful, beautiful today. Beautiful Good. today, but um, a little landlocked feeling sometimes. Some people, was, somebody, Dame said, I, Lily, I love you. Need more more music from you. Shoot, I'm working on it, fam. She working on it. She working Work. on it. Steady. Steady. I've been learning lots of instruments and produce. I got to I gotta throw you some beats. I've been making some. Okay. Um, heat. Always, I'm always open to it. Yes. So, Where are you? Huh? Where are you geographically? Oh, I'm in the Bay Area, California. Sure. Good. Mm -hmm. Post Absolutely. And it's feeling all right? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm just staying out the way. I got the little, you know, microphone. I got a little setup at the house. So I've just been writing and recording at home, making the most of my time. Staying out the way. Clubhouse. Yeah. Making, gotta have the nook, right? I actually I mean, I'm, like I'm always kind of isolated anyway, so too much hasn't changed. Fair. Are you, <laughs> are you can Cancerian? When... Say that again? No, you're, you're on some Libra shit, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm Libra. September I was going to say, I'm like, I'm Cancer, so I'm hermit mode, like crab mode, usually. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. My mom even hit me up. She was like, I know you're good at social distancing to begin with, so yeah. <laughs> why don't you just keep that up? That's what I do, exactly. But yeah, I, I, I hooked a few homies up with interfaces because I know everyone's like kind of creatured up and mm -hmm. some talented folks. I know I just want everyone to have the gear they need and the zones mm -hmm. and just like, get their therapy right yeah I think absolutely. we're in a collective i mean shit in chinese medicine the lungs are related to grief right mm. like different organs hold different so we're collectively my theory is purging a fuck ton of grief mm -hmm. or or we're resisting it mm -hmm. but, yeah i believe everything is all connected you know what i mean it's all connected you know what you put in your mind what you put in your stomach Mm. Which you, you know what I'm saying? Everything, like what you, what you allow to your spirit, it's all connected. So I try to keep, I mean, the shit that we're going through now, these are things that I've been working on before any of this happened. Mm. You know what I mean? Like these in are things. In some quantum that, timeline. In some, yeah. maybe it's I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm constantly, always yeah. constantly evaluating just, just everything. So this is just to me, this honestly is, is, is uh, as scary as it may seem sometimes. It's almost kind of calming for me. You know what I mean? So I just try to keep that in perspective and, um, you know, and just take it moment by moment, you know? That's good. Working with, working with old folks and, like, people passing on and hospice space and shit has been mm – -hmm. I only started doing it just in September. Mm -hmm. But now shit's been – I hate to be crude, but, like, business as usual, if not more so. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's popping. Mm -hmm. And I've learned so much because, I mean, elders – like, that disconnect – at least in Western culture and my lacking of culture, it's just been not enough communication with elders or respect and like mm -hmm. shuts me up. I love talking. Clearly I'm on some philosophical rambling shit. Right now. <laughs> no, but sitting with them has been so G a lot of them are, a lot of them are shook. I mean, fear, fear is real, but the ones who, and I'm interested in working with like psilocybin and elders or, or chronic illness where we're all going to die, right? So, like, have a little ego death and use the plants in that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
the motherfuckers who who aren't scared and they're just mobbing those last few days mm-hmm. are 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 hilarious for starters and then drop wisdom around yeah we're we're all uh we're all just in for a brief little uh yeah my grandmother uh she passed away two years ago she was ninety she was ninety one so she'd be ninety three by now but um uh, my mom passed away well before her. Wow. And my dad, uh, my mom, make a long story short, my mom used to, um, she, my grandmother still lived alone, but she lived alone all the way to the day she passed away. She never, <laughs> she never had, you know, had hospice or a nurse or anything like that. She always did things on her own, you know, and, but she still needed people to like grocery shop. So every Sunday, um, once my mom passed away, cause my mom used to do it, right. you know, me and my dad would go over and sit in my grandmother's house, you know, like on a Sunday afternoon, we would sit there and watch football. And my grandmother would just just sit there and just tell me these stories. She would just like go, she would tell me about so much and just to hear her life and then, you know, her view in life and, you know, her how she viewed death. It was just, I don't know, it was just, it was, uh, it was, you know, I learned a lot from it, you know, mm. I learned a lot. And it's just something irreplaceable about from somebody that's been, I mean, talking about somebody that's been on this earth for almost a hundred years. Uh, Ten decades. Just <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she told, she told me stories about her almost getting lynched. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now, like, some, like she, she worked in a cafeteria and some like dude, um, some white guy, you know, because you got to think this is what, 19... 30s and 40s and shit? 50s or something, 40s, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I, I got to do the math, but she was just like, yeah, she was working at a cafeteria and the guy says something disrespectful to her. And she says, like, you can't talk to me like that. So all of them, and then one of the um, doctors that worked, because it was in the hospital, told her, like, hey, um, we're going to have to walk. We're going to have to get you home. We're going to have to take you home tonight. Because you these can't guys, talk back. Yeah, you can't, like, because they were scared for her. And it was just, it was crazy. But just the story she would just tell me is just, uh, it was insane. And it's just irreplaceable. Like, the firsthand, you know what I'm saying, account of what, that was like to grow up in the 50s and 40s, you know? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. My, my biggest thing is that I want to f- find how appropriate it is to document these folks. Like, at least get some mm-hmm. audio. I take my Zoom recorder, my field recorder in there sometimes, and just like, yeah. I mean, they're all the intro to a boom bap. The, you know, just yeah, like yeah, a little yeah. pitched up drop of wisdom from someone who's like been rocking for eight decades in a rapidly wow. but i mean and we're, and we're gonna be folks that well well who knows one moment in time right but catch you at 80 and the rapid shifting of our collective like i'm curious yeah how's you how have you been feeling in your like technology consumption because a minute ago you were saying like you know food thoughts being aware of our consumption this is this is like we can connect but I'm a little, I have fallen back from like frequent self-promotion and really being involved in pushing my stuff because I just, maybe I can change my story about it, but I'm like, yo, Mm -hmm. I don't know about touching our phones all the time like this. Mm. Um, I think think it's just important. I mean, for me, I'm just kind of one of those people. um, It's funny. I was just listening to uh, just like some podcast thing I was listening to about uh, a doctor was talking about, you know, people dealing with anxiety, especially during this kind of time. And that's something that I've dealt with, but I'm the kind of person that I don't know if it's just the way I was brought up or it's just my own personality or whatever, Mm -hmm. but I'm the type of person so far, no matter what I've gone through in my life, I tend to lean into things. So whatever it is, like if I'm having anxiety about something, um, I just, I lean into it. You know what I mean? I just mm. be like, all right, what am I so, what am I so afraid of? Or what am I so, you know what I mean? I, so if there's certain things that I'm just kind of afraid of, I just feel like as long as you try to, I try to keep a balance. And if there's something specifically like, like, oh, uh, like I just go, I just go into it. You know what I mean? And then the people that I talk to, I'm very grateful to have people in my life that um, that I've known and that I trust in the information. I don't, you know, I don't listen to like, I don't take everything they say as like the Bible, but I consider everything they say. And I've been lucky to have people that I consider to be like mentors or, 
that, that gives me information and it, um, and it all kind of pushed me in that direction. So I try not to be whatever I have a fear of, I just kind of true, I kind of lean into it and just be like, all right, well, what's the worst? And then once you get through it, it's just like, oh, all right, you know what I mean? I'm in it. It's not that bad. So I say that to say that whatever I have, like even, even, even if it's like information or the internet or people, to, I just tend to try to keep a balance, but don't run from anything. Mm, that's, just, that's how I do it. Respect. Yeah. That's, well, that's an ancient way to do it. There's yeah. like, um, the pasana practice i did like a, a fat silent meditation thing like 30 days of silence and vipassana is what you're saying essentially like all styles of meditation some you're supposed to you know maybe actively go out of your body and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and reach or call in energy or you know something active vipassana is just what you're saying like feeling shit this is mm -hmm. more sensation based right so mm -hmm. like for the migraines i essentially like sit with them and go mm -hmm. in because I've, I've tried to hide it fade it fix it like whatever take whatever mm -hmm. but i really appreciate how you're applying it to because i've only really applied that to pain mm -hmm. I'm like i'm not gonna run from it and mm -hmm. i'm and I, and I got my stripes in that way but as far as feel i'm feeling like um contracted around too much technology use or information consumption or too many conversations i get all like no i'm an introvert and uh mm -hmm. instead and then it has to stop right right there. Like, I'm my mm. own block. So mm. I appreciate what you're saying, because then, I mean, we're stupid powerful. So mm. to think, you know, I exactly. respect 5G is an important conversation and being aware of our, you know, like, frequency bombardments, for sure. And yeah, it's true. all, like, really a fascinating um, grid work to make us think we're, we're smaller or affected by when... Bro, the circuitry we could actually run we're, on. We're affected by everything. You know what I mean, Fact. I believe, you know, everything can affect us, but it's up to us how we interpret it. And um, that's how I look at it. You know what I mean? It's just like there's there's energy, there's good and bad energy. You got to have, it's just like bacteria. Sure. You got to have good and bad bacteria. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't have. Eat your dish. You know what I mean? So it's the way I look at it. But, you know, I just try to stay balanced, man, and keep myself kind of leveled and always know that. It's never as bad as it seems, and it's never as good as it seems. I try to, I try to live by that, uh, that philosophy, and just keep it, you know, keep it moving. But I, it's, it's good to see you, though, man. I appreciate good to you. See uh, you. Back. Thanks for nerding out. No, nah, absolutely. I like these conversations. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, stay in touch and be well, man. You know, don't don't uh, don't sweat the small shit, which is everything. No, I'm <laughs> I'm like this pendulum, right? <laughs> so I appreciate you're like, yeah, keep the pendulum. But yeah. yeah. So need more, need more of that. For sure. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy your moments. It's cool you're talking to everybody, but I'll, I'll reach out. I'll send you some beats and all that. Okay. Be well. Yeah. Bless you. Shout out to Lily, man. Good to see her. Uh, uh want to know about my new album? Um, well. You're going to get the first taste tomorrow, 11 a.m., uh, the new video exhibit, Locksmith, Razcast, Brevi. Um, it's called With God. And um, But for those of you guys who you listen to Spotify, Apple Music, it should be available around 9 p.m. West Coast, 12 midnight in the East Coast. Um, but the video drops tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. I'm excited about that. Um, can't wait for that shit to drop. And uh, talk about it with you guys. I'm pumped up. And um, Locksmith, what up? Is this your boy? Um, how I'm living? I'm living good, man. I hope I make a song with Brother Ali. I hope so, too, man. I think Brother Ali is so dope, man. That last album he did with uh, Evidence. Ooh, my God. Yo, that album was so fire. So fire, so fire, so fire. Um, let's see if we can let some other folks in here. Let's see if we can let some folks in here have some good discussions. I'm getting hungry though. Yo, yo, what's up, bro? What up? What up? 
Not much. Just you're hanging out with the, 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 the family with the kids, you know. Quarantine. Oh, oh, I can never hear you, you when I'm out with you. Matt, say hello real quick. Hello. What up? What up? Let's I'm gonna let you guys some family time. No, Lord. That was too loud, man. I'm sorry. I couldn't, couldn't hear. I couldn't hear, man. Um, for some other folks. Peace, peace. Hey, what's going on, my brother? Yo, yo. C can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I don't know. Things is messing up on my end. Um, I'm going uh, to come back on here. Um, I'm, I'm hungry, man. I'm about to make some food. I'm starving. I'm about to make some tacos, man. I'm hungry than a motherfucker. I'm going to be back on here. Give me one thing. Click the link in my bio. Pre-save my new song. It'll be ready at midnight tonight. The video, everybody. The video drops at 11 a.m. tomorrow. 11 a.m. Go to my YouTube page. I am Locksmith. And get ready for that. All right, y'all. I'm out. Sorry, I had to turn y'all sideways for a second. I'm letting my phone charge. Sorry, my bad. I had to turn y'all sideways for a second. Sabrina, what up? G bro, what up? Bun B eighty nine eleven, what up? Chicky five oh eight. Told y'all I was gonna come back on here, man. What's good, man? I told y'all I was gonna come back. Um, I just made some tacos. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to my cookies tonight. Looking forward to them good cookies tonight. Joey, what up? Sorry, I got y'all sideways right now. Does it does it come up sideways? Is sideways? Sorry, man. I just yeah, man. Um, I just I watched a weird ass movie on Netflix last night. It's called The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Did anybody see that? It's with Colin Farrell, um, Nicole Kidman. And it's weird. It's fucking weird. Uh, it was a weird movie, man. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. But it was kind of good, though. It's called The Killing of a Sacred Deer. I kind of liked it. I mean, it was strange, but I mean, I watched the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, I thought it's just, I mean, some people probably find it boring and creepy, but I like kind of creepy, weird stuff like that. Yeah, I haven't finished Ozark yet. I'm st I'm only on episode seven, so I still got three episodes left, eight, nine, and ten. So I'll probably start, I'll probably, I've been trying to spread it out, like trying to make it last. I told y'all, man, I'm trying to make it. It was weird. Like, I'm not going to say it's a good movie. I kind of enjoyed it. I thought it was strange. I was hope. I just, it was just strange. You know what I'm saying? If you like weird shit that just makes you kind of think, it's just odd. And the way they were acting was just odd. Like, the whole thing was just odd. And it's from 2017. I don't even remember it ever coming out. Have I seen Living With Myself? No, nah, I've never seen that. Is that the, I never, I never seen that one. Cue ball on Netflix? No, I haven't seen cue ball. What is that about? Mm. Paul Rudd kills that show. It's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw I did see some of that. The Paul Rudd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I got, I'm gonna go. I, I, you know what? I started it and then I never finished it. I only watched like a little bit of the first episode and I forgot I got distracted. So I'm gonna have to go back and um, check that out. Mm. Have I seen Midsummer? Yes, I have. I, I Midsummer wasn't as good as Hereditary, but I enjoyed it. Green Street Hooligan. Why do people always ask me? Yeah, I've seen it. I didn't think that movie was that good, but why do people love that movie Green Street Hooligan so much? I mean, it was just, you know, it was about some soccer players, some Brits who love soccer. Hereditary was dope. I loved Hereditary. That shit just crazy as fuck. Oh, San Quentin. Yeah, yeah, it's like a documentary. Or Well, it's about... Q ball is about saying, yeah, I saw that on I saw that on Netflix. I haven't checked that out yet. Um, who would you say your favorite MCs to work with were? Um, I work with every, I, you know, I appreciate working with everybody, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um. You guys know I got the single dropping at midnight. Um, the video drops in the morning. So, um, Pix Kid said, what am I reading? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm not reading nothing. Just watching a bunch of shit. I don't read as much as I used to. I'm glad you think I, I'm glad you guys think I'm an avid reader, but um You watch that Sugar and Toys? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. Do I mix my own music? Uh no, I mean I a lot of times I sit there with the engineer and we you know and I tell him what I what I like what I don't like but shout out to Black Dre he he mixes a lot of my stuff shout out to Matt Cody in New York he mixes um stuff that I record with him and and uh and Decap the stuff I do with Decap Decap mixes a lot of his own stuff so I'll send him my vocals and he mixes everything and he's getting he's getting even doper and doper with that The new song that's coming out tonight uh Midnight with God uh, with Exhibit, Raz, Kaz, and Brevi. Um, Decap produced it and he mixed it. So I think you guys are going to enjoy that. Catalyst, what up, bro? Um, yeah, man. Sorry I'm took my head. I'm just, my phone is charging and I, and I can't keep it. Uh, have you watched Blood In, Blood Out? Of course, man. That's classic. How you going to not see Blood In, Blood Out? I've seen that like a million times. Who's my favorite MC of all time? Hove, Jay Z. Um, Kira, what up? Um, yeah, man, Jay Z is my favorite. Pain and Gain, uh, that's over. I seen that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that that wasn't. I don't. That wasn't. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Who would you like to work with? Uh, anybody that's dope and that'd like to work with me. I don't know. Kira said you don't know about the blueprint. Shit. You don't know about the blueprint. Um. You still hoop, man? Shit, I ain't hooped in so long. Uh, what kind of movies? I mean, I'm into all movies. I mean, I I like. Last night I watched Out of the Furnace. That's one of my favorite movies. Um, I had posted it on. Uh, um, I posted it on my uh, story. Like Out of the Furnace, that movie is so fire. Like I don't know why people. That was such a slept on movie. I remember I went to. I was in New York and I went to the movies to see that. And I was like, Yo, this movie is so fire. If you guys haven't seen it, I think it's on cable right now. Um. I think it's on cable right now. It's called Out of the Furnace. If it's, you got Comcast, it's on demand. Um, it's starring Christian Bale, Woody Harrelson. Yo, Woody Harrelson in that movie is fucking insane, yo. 
Like, he is a fucking... Um, Zoe Saldana is in that. Um, Casey Affleck, William Defoe. Like, yo, that movie is fire. Like, Forrest Whitaker. Like, yo. Bye. Um, yo, that movie is fire, man. Like, I don't know. I, I really like that movie for some reason. Um... You go to the movies. Yeah, I don't. I, I go to the movies. I mean, you can't go now. Daylight, what up, bro, bro? Um, Birds of a Prey. No, I don't go. I don't. I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with comic book movies like that. I'm just. I'm sorry, y'all. Not into the comic book movies unless it was like the black, the Batman, like the um, the uh, you know what I'm saying, the Christian Bale Batman. Um, you know. Those are the I love those Batman movies. Um, that's the only ones I like, and I like the Joker movie. You know, because those didn't they, they, they didn't feel like comic. I don't like Marvel. Uh, that shit is. I told y'all, man. I can't fuck with that, man. I seen them all, and every time I go see them, I'm like, why am I watching this shit? I fall asleep during every one. Um, Bloodsport. Oh, that's classic. That's classic blood sport. Um, do you do you prefer people seeing your freestyles over your recorded work? I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't really care. I mean, I don't. I think you get more if you really listen to my music. But I know the freestyles is like a good way to kind of just like display your just like raw skill. So you know, it's dope when people. Uh, when people, um, when people, you know, can appreciate your skill, but I think the music guys would um, it resonates more with people. So, Crimson Peak, yeah, Crimson Peak um, horror movies. I haven't seen Crimson Peak. I don't think. I'm not. I'm not like a horror. I like horror. I like good horror movies. Like I don't just like blood like ugh, stabbing and like just kill i don't like that man i like good horror movies let's talk about some horror movies since you know since shit is crazy right now let's talk about some good movies some good horror movies if anybody want to talk about some horror movies that they like or want to discuss um hop on here with me if you guys want to talk about it um um or whatever you know what i'm saying Yeah, Midsommar is, I, I think Hereditary is better, but Midsommar is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I enjoy Mid, Midsommar was, like, fucking weird. Um, but Hereditary is, uh, Hereditary was fucking crazy. Like, that shit was dope to me. That was, like, that's, like, my favorite horror movie in, in a while. Um, oh, I really like The Witch. I know a lot of people didn't like that. They thought that shit was boring, but I thought that shit was fire. Have I done psychedelics? No, I haven't done any drugs. I've never done any drugs. I've never done any uh, drugs. I never smoked weed. I've never smoked tobacco. I've never taken any kind of pills. Um, you got a hard time getting me to take some Advil. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, if I'm like really sick, I'll like take some medicine, but I don't really fuck with uh, no kind of drugs, no kind of weed. I don't smoke nothing. I don't put nothing in my lungs but oxygen. You feel me? The Conjuring. Yeah, one or two of The Conjuring. I, th I like the one when they were in London somewhere. I think I like that one. Um, but The Conjuring, you know, those are just like ah, jump movies. Um, I like Sinister, the first Sinister. That shit was dope. Um, anybody want to jump on here? We're going to take let some people jump on if y'all want to. Nobody wants to jump on? Okay, shit. I'm just talking then. Y'all can just ask y'all questions like that. Um, um, somebody said, I, both of my parents are addicts, so I don't take anything. Yeah, my my parents didn't drink alcohol. They didn't smoke. They didn't do any of that, so it just wasn't a part of my life. You know what I mean? None of my friends did it, so we just grew up away from that. The Autopsy of Jane Doe, that was okay. You know, it was a good, cool little Netflix movie. 
something to pass the time. Yo. Locksmith, how's it going, my friend? What's going on? Not too much. Uh, one sec, I'm being situated. Thanks for taking my call. I appreciate it's all it. good, man. Yeah, um, I, I actually had a couple questions to ask you. Man, that's why I'm here, bro. Let's awesome. Break. Yeah, I was I was on with you uh, another time a little, a little while back, but okay. I've, just been, I've just been writing songs and I've been kind of, I don't know, uh, facing some internal questions. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. But you're an artist that I've like very much looked up to. And I was kind of thinking about like when you started rapping, mm -hmm. I was wondering is there sort of looking back now, can you kind of look at an intention or something that made you start rapping in the first place? And not just like, you know, the the positive, the inspiration, but was there anything that kind of you had to like overcome through why you started rapping? Like anything that, I, I don't know, does that make any sense? Just kind of why you started rapping. Well, and, to yeah, answer that, well, I started rapping because I loved the art form of rapping. Like when I saw other people do it, I saw my friends do it. I was like, yo, that seems so cool. And I, and I just love the poetic, the creativity of being able to make words rhyme in such mm -hmm. a unique way. I just thought that was cool. And um, I just tried it, you know, now as time, you know, and as time go, and it was just fun. It was just literally something that I just fell in love with. But then as time went on, Obviously, life happens. You, you know what I mean. You you go through stuff. You family stuff, relationship stuff, just the world, whatever internal stuff. And then rap became something more. Like once I learned how to express myself, rap became this whole other thing. It became this therapeutic thing for me. Mm. To where, and I will say that only took shape about five or six years ago. That's when I was like, oh, this mm. is really therapy for me. Like I can, you know, like I used to kind of tap into it every now and again on accident but now it's literally mm. like even when i'm just talking shit i'm really talking about something that means something to me you know absolutely um and yeah. that's when that's when rap became something else for me and still to this day i'm still discovering new things within it and how to use it mm. and uh use it as like a, a therapy and at the same time it can be therapy for other people too absolutely i appreciate that response do you uh do you write anything else other than just rap? Like, do you ever write poetry or write like something that comes to your mind? Anything, you know what I mean? A story? Uh, not, like. not really. No, no. I mean, growing up, I mean, I did write um, short stories. I did mm. write poetry. I would love I did. to write short stories, man. That'd be crazy. Oh man, I can't even. No, nah, I know. I'm talking man. about high. You can't. You talking about high school, man? Like, I don't even. Sure. But um. Yeah, but yeah, so I mean, so all those things kind of, I guess, those kind of things led me to rap. Now rap is like, you know, my way of doing that, but um, I don't really, yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not like working on a book or a screenplay yeah. or anything like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, no, I have I ideas, but who knows what happened one day, you know? Yeah, no, I just asked because I mean, it's, I'm just, it's interesting to me because I've, uh, I started writing really when I started getting into music and I started writing music and then now I'm, I'm back in, in school, I'm back in college and like my mm -hmm. professors, I'm studying literature. My, my professor's asking me to write a lot and it's just so interesting, like writing in a, in a different way than, than music, but it's, it opens doors. Well, We're I mean, in, when I was in college, I mean, my, uh, I was in the social sciences. My major was African American Ooh. studies. So, I mean, all I did was write papers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Papers, papers, 10 page paper here, 12 page paper here. I had to write like a 50 page paper for my thesis um, to graduate. So um, it was more creative writing or like it was more research based? No, it was research based. Research based? Yeah. Figured. Research based. It was all like historical context stuff, social commentary. Absolutely. Uh, it was all That's that kind of stuff. Music. It, wasn't, uh, it wasn't creative yeah. writing. Interesting. That's so cool because like, I mean, your music to me is it's such a crazy blend. That's why I love you. It's like it's such a crazy blend of like creativity, like put into like a research based writing in a way because your, your, your stuff is so factual and so like informative, but you do it in such a creative way. And like, yeah, I mean, it's just it's pretty cool. Like like seeing that blend with you because 
a lot of artists go one way or the other and a lot of artists yeah. can't do either i really appreciate artists who like are super creative and i really appreciate artists who are super informative but whenever well, i see somebody do both it's just it blows my mind well for me you know that's the kind of music that i like that's what that's what i do like i mm, take absolutely. pride or i i love the fact that you know this is an art form and you and within the art form i can do whatever i want i can talk about whatever i want so you'll never really see me just be like everything i do is political or everything mm. i do like i just you know, or everything i do is just having fun or everything i do is emotional like i have a range of emotions you know what i mean and i feel yeah. like everybody does but oh. i do say that i will say that this one last thing is that within hip hop i try to make myself I try to be good at a lot of different things within mm. what we call, you know, hip hop or MC. And like, I want to be able to talk about this. I want to be able to talk about political stuff, relationships. Mm. Stuff. I want to be able to show these sides, but mm -hmm. sometimes that's hard for the audience. Sometimes it takes long yeah. for the, uh, the audience to digest that because they just want one thing. Like, I only want you to be political or I only want you to talk about bitches or I only want to party or I only want emotional stuff. So sometimes, when you have these range of emotions, there's like, lock, I only like this stuff, or lock, I only like when you freestyle, or lock, I only like when you're on the political, or I hate yeah. when you're political, or I only like when you do emotional, like, but all these things are me. So I feel like as long as you're sincere at what you are and who you mm -hmm. are, you put it out there, it makes, some people may not be able to gravitate towards it all at once, but over time, mm -hmm. I think the majority of people will appreciate it. At least that's what I believe. Absolutely. Was it you who I saw? It might have been you. It might have been someone else. But what you just said reminded me of it. Who said that you feel like it was some interview I think I saw where mm -hmm. you said that you feel like anybody who's real, like any artist, when you look at the history of people who are real, like no matter what they were talking about, if they were genuine and real to themselves, yeah, it, it always comes through. Was that you? Or? I mean, yeah, that sounds like something I've said. I've definitely okay. said that before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. just what it is. That's what I gravitate towards. I gravitate towards artists or people that are sincere. And um, mm -hmm. so I feel like as long as I'm being sincere, I'm good. The rest of the shit will figure it out. But I appreciate yeah. you calling in, my guy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, yeah, do. I, I got, yeah, I'll just let you know, man. I appreciate everything you're doing. I'm excited to hear that single you got dropping. Yeah, uh, man. Keep, keep being sincere. Keep doing different ways of you, too, because I like all the things you do. Like, I'll listen to your political stuff when I'm trying to learn. I'll listen to your emotional stuff when I'm trying to feel something. So Absolutely, man. Keep doing it, man. Have a great night, okay? You too, man. Much right. love. Shout out to that homie, man. Am I familiar with KRS-One's philosophy of hip-hop? Uh, I mean, I'm familiar with KRS-One, but I don't know exactly his hip-hop philosophy thing. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with KRS-One, of course. Um. Dev Lord, I'm about to let you in, but I'm not letting you. If you rap, I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to let you in, man. I can't see you. You would have a bad connection. You got a bad connection, man. Have I heard of Whit Lowry? Yeah, I heard of Whit Lowry. My man, uh, Mike Squires, was on tour with him. On the bottom, is my screen on? I can't even see myself. Yeah, I can see you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm from Australia, man. It's it's weird down here, boy. It's weird. Like I've been, uh, I've been no, to Australia. It's the same everywhere, I guess, man. It's the same everywhere. I've been to Australia. Yeah, yeah. What's um, up, man? I. I'm honestly wanted to talk to you about like mentoring as like you're, you're someone I really admire and uh, I'm trying to find a mentor myself just to get into rap and push myself forward, man. Uh, I know you probably get it a lot. I'm not saying I want you as a mentor. Uh, I'm just saying, what would you do if someone to advise? That's all. Well, you got to be more specific. What, what, say it again. What, what uh, I'm just looking like, uh, <sighs> I don't know how. How would you say someone could branch out and try and find someone to mentor them? I'm I'm just struggling to push myself forward within the career. That's all. So, what do you do? I don't even know. What do you do? 
I'm a body piercer, but I, I want to get into rap. Okay. Uh, I've been okay. writing for years and years and years. I'm actually, okay. uh, weirdly, Banjo Patterson is a poet from Australia, and I'm kind of named after him. So I've always felt like I've had some form of poetry, but just struggled, really. So, yeah. So you're saying you want to be a rapper, and you want – and you're looking for somebody to mentor you or you're trying to get some information about how do you find someone to mentor you? Pretty much, man. Yeah. You got to build relationships with people. I mean, that's a pretty general statement, but if you rap, you put out music, you network, you build people, you put out good energy and you maybe you start meeting and you connect with like, like-minded people. And then those like-minded people, um, you build relationships with them and then somehow they might become a mentor. I mean, I don't really know. Yep. I've never, I, I mean, I have OGs in the game or people who are, who've been doing it longer than me. And I, I learn from them. Sometimes they mentor, sometimes they're mentoring me without them even knowing. I'm just, yeah, absolutely. I, I developed a relationship with them and I learned from them. And, and um, over time I just, you know, learn from them and, you know, and then adapt them. And then there, there are some people like early on in my life, they didn't like, mentor me in hip hop but they just mentored me in life and then I'm yep. still connect with them and I would need to talk with them about certain things they help me with that whether it's on a spiritual level and just or a psychological level and um, that's pretty much yeah I mean that's kind of pretty much I don't really have any specific put advice. it out there that, that's it just, just do it and put it out there yeah you got to put it out there and, and meet people and be open and be humble and you know yep. that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much all I can say you know that's good, man. That's good. No, I appreciate it. That's, that's really all I wanted to talk to you about, man, as to just a little bit of advice. That's it. It's all good, man. You be safe out there in, uh, in, in, in Australia. Australia. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Are you a bogan? <laughs> no, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, could I ask you a question? Yeah, man. When I was in Australia, people used to say something. I don't know if they say it anymore. This is about four, four, four or five years ago. And Yo. they would they would say this word. They would just say legend, and I'd be like, "What legend?" I'd be like, "What the fuck does that mean?" You heard legend, legend. yeah, legend. Like what is that like a slang? I legend. What is that? A, no, like a slang. Like they would be like, "All right, yo, legend." Mm, where were you? Sydney. Sydney. Um, each state's very different, man. It'd be the same as the same as America, like. You're going to have little slangs and stuff in every individual state. Legend's more of just like a general terminology, I guess. Like, so yo, this guy's mean? a legend. That, that's no, simple. like we would just be like at the end of a conversation, like the end of a like email, they'd be like legend. Like, they would just say like, like that's boss. Or like, yo, that's dope. Like, yeah, same, same, same term. Same kind of terminology. Yeah, okay, it just so comes across weird, I guess. We're Australians. Yeah, because yeah, we, don't, we don't say that in the United nah. States. So that's why it was weird to me to hear – I was like, yeah. huh? he caught me off guard. Uh, like, what? Hey, Queensland, Queensland finish every sentence with but. Like, they're going to ask you something, but they never ask you anything. They're like, oh, man, that's really cool, but. Have you ever like, eaten Have you ever eaten um, kangaroo? Yeah, it's good, man. It's real good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's really kind of like venison, mm -hmm. but uh, a lot more gamey. And kind of like grassy and a little oh, bit weird, no, I can't but it. it's real good for you, man. It's real good for you. Let me ask you another question since I got you on. Yo. If you walk into a restaurant in Australia and you sit down and you order a lemonade, what will they bring you? Uh, yeah, lemonade. What is a lemonade? Just straight up, like. Tell me what lemonade is. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Solo. Let me see. Zoom that in. Is it carbonated? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, in the so United So carbonated. States, that's not considered yeah. lemonade. No. No. <laughs> See, that's like, that's just soda. Yeah? Yes. You drinking soda. That's soda. Which yeah, you yeah. No, so it's a lemonade. Have, you guys don't have no. regular lemonade with, with, with just no carbonation? Uh, we, yeah, but we, it's more of like a home style, like okay. lemonade or something like that. Like, okay. it'll be more... In like a fancy kind of place, but yes. we all have it. Like, you know, just make up lemon juice and water at home, like a basic lemonade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, when I was out there, I remember I ordered a lemonade and they brought me lemon lime drink or lemon soda. I was like, oh, oh like lemon lime bitters? 
lemon lime, huh? Lemon lime bitters? No, lemon like lemon soda. They brought me like a lemon ah. soda, like a carbonated yeah, yeah. drink. I was like, yo, this isn't lemonade. It was like, yeah. And then the guys were like, what are you talking about? And I had to explain to them in the States. I was yeah. like, yo, in the United States, this is not lemonade. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's uh, it's different. But yeah, man, thanks for calling in, bro. No, thank you, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, bro. Peace. Have a good day, boy. I always give Australians a hard time about that. They also don't have butter on their popcorn in Australia. Um, can you imagine if you ordered some lemonade and somebody brought you a Sprite? You'd be like, man, what the fuck is that? How much for a feature? Uh, if you ask and you can't afford it. <laughs> I don't talk business on here. You'd have to... Uh, Deb Lord, do you have something interesting that you want to ask me? Something interesting to talk about? Yo, yo, I'm going to let some more people in here. Am I ready for Ramadan? I hope so. What's going on, my man? What up, what up? How you doing? Good, man. Where you calling from? I'm from California, Northern California. Oh, what part? Where you at? Manteca, uh, over here by Stockton. Oh, man, dude. I used to go to Manteca every summer as a kid, man. Is that right? Ain't shit out here. What you used to do out here? There used to be a water park. The out water there. park. I missed it. I'm 20 years old, so I missed that. Okay, yeah, because that was 20 years ago when I was there. <laughs> so, I missed that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It used to be a, uh, it used to be like a camping. That's the only time I ever went camping was in Manteca at the little, uh, they had like little camping grounds. Uh, we barbecue out there. And it's crazy to, now, man, because Manteca, Manteca was real country at one point. Like, I'm sure before I was born, it was real country. That's why all our roads are, you know what I mean, one, mm -hmm. one lane, two lane. Now yeah. we got houses everywhere. We got business popping up, so it's just traffic, man, like crazy, man. These roads ain't built for Y'all still country, though, man. Don't get it. Yeah, us. we country, but <laughs> shit. <laughs> Compared to the Bay Area. <laughs> Hell, yeah. It's the What's mini Bay on, out man? here. Man, I'm just over here thinking about music, man, because that's all I ever think about, but. With okay, all this shit you, going on. What do you do, this, man? Are you a rapper, producer, singer? What do you do? I do both. I do both. I started out rapping real young, and I was picked up making beats, and I've been doing that ever since, about five, six years now. But Dope. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any questions, anything you want to talk about? I do a little bit, man. I like to get everybody's perspective on this. Like, with this music shit, nothing's really ever got in the way of it. Like, we've had shit pop up, but, you know what I mean, if you're really a musician, you really do this shit for your life, this ain't just on the side, nothing's going to get in the way of that. But this shit that's going on, it's really starting to kind of get in the way of things with people like uh, interest and, and fan base and stuff like that. People aren't really going to be too interested in, in uh, watching your video and, and going to your concert and buying your merch right now because people are worried about their families. People worried about getting their bills paid. People worried about uh, the health issues and stuff like that. So I just wanted to talk to you like from an artist point, all these artists locked down in the studio, you know music to get made. What do you think they should do? Then what do you think the content should be? Or you think people really gonna be slapping the same fucking turn up? I don't want to cuss too much. You think people gonna be slapping the same turn up stuff? You know what I mean? Like the same. Uh, uh, well, you gotta be. You gotta ask me more specific questions. You you ask. You said a bunch. Yeah. So, you're so saying, are you, so, so are you asking me? Do you think people now that we're going through a crisis? Do you think it would change what people want to hear? At, at what people time? want it, what people want to hear, and then from an artist's point of view, what the artist should really be working on. Because I feel like a lot of artists, uh, myself included, will get to a point where they hit the studio and they're thinking about what would fans like to hear. They're thinking about what can I make that would be pop, what could be dope, along with your style and your own image and your own flow and everything. But now it's like people gotta people gotta just take a second guess as an artist and think like. Well, is what I'm saying but, but, right but, now. Not, not, to, not to cut you off. You yeah, give yeah, me yeah. a lot of information, and I appreciate that. But you're not asking me. You got to ask me something. Let you me ask you a question. You're giving, you're giving me your opinion on it, and I appreciate it. So are you asking? So now you got to ask. Are you asking me what? You have to ask me a specific question. Like, what am I? What What are you asking me? Because Let you're, me giving, you you're giving your thoughts, and I and I can and those are valid. 
So I, I guess what I want you to, I want you to give me, if you want an answer, you got to give me a question. Let me hit you with one right now. Okay. Do you think, do you think that artists need to talk about what's relevant and people would, can relate to right now currently with everything going on? Because everybody's got something in common. Everybody's going through this pandemic. You think artists need to be talking about that? Or do you think artists need to stick to what they're known and loved for? I think whatever you do as an artist, you should be sincere to who you are. So if you're somebody who makes music and you reflect about what's going on in your life and what's going on, then you should do that. I think you should just be sincere to your emotions. If you want to, if you want to pick people's spirits up and you don't want, and you don't want to think about all the crisis that's going on and that's what you want to do, you should do that. If you want to address it, some people want to address directly what's going on, you should do that. If some people want to do it in a more serious way, you should just do whatever you yeah. feel is sincere in your heart. Um, and to just comment on what you said earlier, you said that people are trying to feed their family. They don't want to listen to music. Well, there's always been times we've been at war. We've been, you know what I mean? Like there's always things that's going on in the world um, that are tragic and there are different crises. Um, but at the same time, music has always been here. You know what I'm saying? Music has never stopped. So um, you just gotta, as a musician, like if this is what you, like, I'm gonna, as long as I can make music, I'm gonna always make music. I don't care what's nice. going on until it just, until it can't happen. I mean, that's what I love. So I don't do it just because I want people to pay attention to me. I do it because I love it. It's therapeutic for me. I love creating art. I hear that. Yeah. So, um, so I'm, and always I think, gonna, I'm always, I'm always going to make music from that perspective, but everybody else has different, they pull, they get their inspiration from different places. So whatever that inspiration is, you should just follow that. I hear that. You know what? I'm, I feel like I'm blowing it out of proportion a little bit because of how young I am and how this might be like the first time I'm experiencing some, something like this where society actually gets a, not shook up, but where society, because, you know, even 9-11, I was alive, but well, I was like one years old, two years old, you know what I mean? So this is the first time I'm really kind of noticing something like this that affects everybody. But yeah, that, that's, that's a good point. I appreciate that, because at the end of the day, I like what Daylight says. Uh, I don't know if you know Daylight. He's a rapper from... Uh, of course. Uh, yeah. So I like what he says when he goes, people got to learn how to rap rap now, because what he's talking about when he says that is nobody wants to hear, kind of what I touched on earlier, nobody wants to hear that party turn up, hey, uh, let's just now I don't think so. People, I mean, Drake just dropped a song right now. That's a, that's a dance, and I like it. Everybody's. I like it. it too. I'm slapping it too. So it, it, people want, and like I said, some people are going to make music, and it's going to be an escape. Some people are going to make music that's going to make you think about what's going on. So it's there's a place for it. There's always going to be a place for everything. The people who are making fun stuff. If they want to keep on making fun stuff, there's a place for that. If people that's making serious shit, you know, they're going to talk about what's going on. So. I mean, that's just that's just life. There's a place for everything. Thanks, I mean, man. That's music. If, if you rap, rap, then you gonna rap, rap. If you don't rap, if you make good time, you gonna make good shit. Like you don't. So, I mean, it's gonna be a place for everything, man. So, I think that I think one thing I I will give you this little bit of information, being that I I have I'm an elder in this game now, and I have a little bit of wisdom. I would say that just what goes on, man. It ain't never as bad as it seems, and it ain't never as good as it seems. So, you know what I mean? Just keep it moving. But I appreciate you calling in, my dude. I, I wish I you much success, you. man. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank the, you. The, the, the water slides ain't there no more, huh? Nah, man. We ain't got shit out here. We, but we got... Uh, that, I don't place know was probably, that probably place was probably could tell. It was probably so much corona up in that motherfucker. <laughs> I heard... Uh, I don't know if you heard of what Wolf Lodge Resort is. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, they're big on the East Coast, but they're, they're building one literally across the street where the, where the fucking water slides. Where I live right now, my house is not even a 200 yards away from where the water slides were. Wow. You wow. know what I'm saying? Memories. All right, my, my brother. Have my a good night, The man. field's a little bit fucked up. It's probably more than 200, but I'm still <laughs> close. You know what I'm All saying? All right, my dude. Have a good one, bro. Peace. Video drops at 11 a.m., bro. Song will be ready at midnight.
We're going to go live with a few more people before I get up out of here. Make sure y'all uh, click the link in my bio. Yo. What's up, bro? What's going on, my dude? Where you calling from? Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, oh, motherfucking Ohio, man. What's going on, bro? Yeah. Nothing much, just chilling. What's up, man? You have any questions you want to ask? Anything you want to talk about? Um. Yeah, I was wondering, like, how – it's probably going to be practice, but, like, how did you work on, like, your pronunciation and stuff like that? Uh, well, pronunciation, I think what you're talking more about is alliteration. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you like alliterate words in a ra in a way? Like, you know what I'm saying? I knock you off of your pedestal. Which you pledge is illegible. Niggas trying to stop me, but you know what I mean? It's just like the the way you yeah. the way you alliterate in your words. Um, I think it's I think it's a combination of practice and it's just a combination of what I want to do. Like even the way I talk. You know what I mean? It's naturally how I am. So that's naturally going to carry over into my rapping style and what I appreciate as a rapper like I grew up on you know when I first was listening to hip-hop and you're probably you know I don't know if you've heard of this but you know this is 20 30 years ago when you had people like Big Daddy Kane um come get some you little bums I take the bait from under the cake dun, 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 dun. like the way he was rapping it was just like yeah he was so good with his alliteration you know what I'm saying Lose, lie, land, 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 land. you know what I mean he could just rap a bunch of words with just L pitiful you know what I mean and it just make you uh so I was just like that. I thought that was so dope. So I took a little bit of that with me when I started rapping, when I got older, and it still carries on to, I, to what I'm doing today. But what's weird about today now is that when you get um, into rap that's become more popular, like in the last three or four years, I think it kind of started with 50 Cent, but people almost like it when you slur your words, you don't pronounce them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, yeah. I got the vision in bed. Yeah, and that's why they call it bumper uh -huh. because they don't want it to be clear. But there's a dopeness about that too because sometimes it's like real lazy. It's like real laid back and real chill. You know what I'm saying? But I personally, when I want to like get my point across or when I'm really like going in, I want my alliteration to be super on point and super clear so i credit listening to like the old school shit and um and just my own preference of how and how i talk in the first place so i guess it's just a combination of those things and practicing it you know yeah um see i write and i rap and stuff uh -huh. i'm with you like i don't mess with like mumbling and stuff uh -huh. i'm more lyrical than like anything else yeah. Like, I can see it's the new wave and everything, so you got to respect it. But I wouldn't listen to it on a daily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we all have our preferences. You know, I personally like shit that has a little more substance, that's a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, that just, you know, that captivates you in a, in a a from a lyrical standpoint. But I also do like, you know, some brainless shit sometimes, so. It just it just all depends, man. But I appreciate you calling in, man. You know, everything good out there in Toledo? You all right? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> just take it easy, man. I, I wish you much success, bro. Thank you. Much love. All right, dog. <clears throat> Shout out to uh, Toledo, Ohio. Somebody's name is Nipples? Damn, that's weird. Oh. We'll go live some more. You see yo, what's yo. up, J. Walt, what's good, my dude? How you doing, man? Good. How you feeling, my dude? I'm good, bro. Quarantine in the crib, you know? Quarantine. You been getting some work done while you're in the crib? Hell yeah. Writing like <laughs> crazy, dude. Might as well. Writing. Exactly. As well, right? Exactly. How about you? As well, man. Say that how again. I said, "How about you? You been you been writing and stuff?" Oh yeah, yeah, man. I've been busy, man. I got the little, you know, I got the, the microphone right here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just been uh, actually, you know, actually been very productive. So yeah, actually, yeah. I feel like it's not enough time in the day. You know what I mean? I'm right. like, damn, the day is already over. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 
but that's a fact, uh, making the most of it, man. Just laying no, low, definitely. and uh, you know, trying to you know, hopefully when this thing is all over, or when we start to start to uh, migrate back into society, you know, I'll be even more prepared, stronger, more focused. You know, exactly. That's that's a fact, bro. But y'all, um, actually, yeah. I have a, a, a question. I usually don't do this, like questions and stuff, but like. I actually had a question. I was just like, yo, because, like, it's so rare to have, like, I don't want to say so rare, but, like, you don't, I mean, because we're out there, but, like, you don't really see a lot of, like, you know, lyr Bay lyricists, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Who, I'm, who, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I know what you're Hip-hop shit like us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, how do you, like, how do you feel, like, how do you or did you, like, separate yourself I'm because you're still like you know from the baby. How did you like get yourself out there as like a? Cause I'm a as like a lyricist as a hip hop dude, and like coming out and still mm -hmm. trying to get re like representation from the bay or whatever. If that still makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like basically saying how 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 is it doing what what I do, but still getting love and respect from the bay? Kind of yeah. You and like how did you like? Yeah, come out. You know what I'm saying? As like a, as like a lyricist, as a, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop dude, and like, was like, were cats like all like, was they now like rocking with you, feeling you? You know what I'm saying? Like, how was, how was that? And I mean, you know, when we when we first came out, um, we uh we knew we were from the Bay because that's where we from. You know, I'm born and raised in right. Richmond, California. You know, um, <laughs> my sister was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Um, I grew up on Too Short, E-40, uh, Tupac, yeah. uh, Hammer, um, and I saw all that, saw all that happening. But I also, you know, appreciated like, you know, um, saying Quinn. You know what I'm saying? I also appreciated um, Seagrams. I also feel um, Father Dom, Dangerous Dane. Like these are guys that was from the Bay that was lyricists, hieroglyphics, Del the yeah. Funky Homo Sapiens. So I was like, oh. Yeah. That's kind of like what I like, you know what I mean? That's kind of I like. Mm. I, I gravitate towards that a little bit more. And then when I start getting into like Nas and Jay Z and stuff like that, I was like, oh, I really fuck with this. So I always felt like. And then when I rapped and I played my shit for people in the hood, like at the barbershop, niggas yeah. would be like, yo, man, you dope. That's dope. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay, so it ain't just. You ain't got, it don't matter where you at. Like people gonna appreciate dope shit when they make dope shit. And um, so I always felt like, you know, as long as I am who I am, I'm gonna always represent I'm from the Bay or from Richmond or wherever I'm from. Exactly. And you know, some people ain't going some people may not fuck with it, but majority of people that hear it, they do fuck with it. So yeah. I, I always was just like, I always felt it was a responsibility to what no matter what market you're in, whether you're in the Bay, New York, there's always a place for diversity. There's always gonna be people who do who do things a little differently than what's the majority, and that's fine. And people still fuck right. with it. Like I fuck with it. I've done a song, I've done a song with them there. Everybody from the bay, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or somebody yeah. close to it. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah. I got respect for them, they got respect for me at the end of the day. So it's just about paying your dues, do being sincere to yourself. And and this shit all comes together. It don't matter how you rap. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember right. when fools used to make fun of Lil B and then Lil B did his thing and people fuck with him, man. Every you know what I mean? Like the yeah. bay love him, you know. So yeah. it, it don't it don't even matter, you know what I mean? So, um, so that's you know, that's always how I kind of looked at it, you know. Yes, yeah, sir. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, just wanted to get your intake. It's all that. love, my dude. Cause uh, yeah, for sure. And uh, keep rocking, my man. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna uh, still uh, send you like a track or something. Yeah, man. We gonna. I'm, uh, I guarantee we gonna do something. We gonna do something, Fact. my brother. Yes, sir. All right, all right bro. Much Thanks. love. Peace. Jay Walt, man. Shout out Jay Walt. Um, make sure you guys um, hit the link in my bio so you can pre-save my new single. It'll be available at midnight. And also, um, the video is going to drop in the morning. Go to my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Go to IamLock.com. You can pre-save my uh, new song with Exhibit and Raz Guys is dropping at midnight. The video drops in the morning. I'm gonna let y'all just, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna let y'all just, I'm gonna let y'all live with that tonight. I'm gonna jump off of here, man. I want everybody to enjoy that music, soak it up. It'll be available at midnight. 
video will be ready in the morning. It'll be up. Just hit the link on my bio. I appreciate you guys, man. Peace and love. Stay safe. And uh, yeah, man.